Hey guys, the objectives with this video is to do a very basic dead and live load calculation. So we're going to be given a section from a general office. So say we have this slab and a beam like this. Okay. Now I've drawn in blue the pressure which is due from self weight superimposed in live. We saw in the previous video that we're going to be working out an equivalent line um, from the sorry line load from the slab. So we're going to get this pressure from this slab and work out an equivalent line load. And then also we're going to be working out the line load from the beam. Okay. Just to show you plan view, it's 1200 by 600. This is in millimeters. This would be a section through 100, 300, and 200 there. Okay. We're given the density of concrete as 2500 kilograms per meter cubed. And we're told that the superimposed dead load is 1 kPa. Okay. So the first thing we're going to deal with is the slab. Now we're going to first work out the dead load G in the slab. Now the dead load, as we said in the previous video, is comprised of self weight of slab and superimposed dead load of the slab. So dealing with the self weight first, that component first. The self weight, as we discussed in the previous video, is the area times the density times the gravity. Okay, and we spoke about how to work out that area. So in this case, it's area times rho times g. The area is going to be 0.1 by 0.6. I'm working in meters and kilo, uh, meters and uh, kilograms throughout this video. Okay, so we want to go from an area load of pressure in blue to a line load in red. So the dimensions we multiply by, as I said, we exclude the dimension which is parallel to the line load. So in this case, the length 1200 we want to exclude. Okay, we're going to multiply by 100 and 600 there. Um, and that will give us the line load. Okay, so you can see it's 0.1 by 0.6, 0.1 by 0.6 for the slab in meters, times by density, which is 2,500, 2,500, times by G, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, so unit wise, it would look like this. We would be left with kilograms meter per second squared times by one on meter, which is newtons per meter. So working this out, we have 0.1 by 0.6, by 2500 by 9.